welcome to another Monday plan with me. Today I'll be planning from the 8th to the 14th using another Your World of Cover Kit. I have the full boxes, the half boxes, some other boxes and some functional glitter headers. These are supposed to be the headers and little things but Carly did glitters for me and then bottom washi and your date covers. I'm also pulling in some gold foiled headers for from Diamond Prince Designs and then I just have my functional stickers as well. Um, I'm going to speed through my placing of the kit because uh, as I'm filming this I do need to go out so I will see you when I do my functional. So for this spread I'm going to, I've halved the bottom washi and I'm going to add some of this gold foiled Halloween washi with it at the bottom and at the top I'm just going to white out some of the dates and use the other piece of the bottom washi along with my date covers which have gold foiled number dots from hand, um, HR Handmade and I'm going to do the same on the other side as for headers I am going to scatter my headers as usual as well as my full boxes and for the weekend I'm going to do one of those uh, special weekend banners that I haven't done in a while but I like doing with the Your World of Colour kits because she does have a few flags in her kits here I've just marked where I want to place my full boxes and then off camera I'm going to do my sidebar and place in some gold foiled he uh, header overlays from Diamond Prince Designs um, but I think that's all for placing of my kit I did realise that I didn't quite um, fill up enough with washi so I used the thin strips that Carly has in her kits just to fill that up a bit but I think that is everything for this and I will see you in a minute for going through my functional. I apologise now for any coughing or sniffling since filming this. I have got a sore throat and a cold. Any background sniffling is my daughter because she's also the same but this is all my kit placed down. Um, I now use a half box with the new Halloween coffee cups from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark Coffee Monday. A green planner from Handcrafted by Cherie to mark to share my weekly spread. A gold foiled bow from Planning by Miss Eve to mark that I need to film the last bits to my Etsy haul. Um, a Laura Jane style po uh, YouTube poppet to mark that this plan with me will be going live at 5pm and a half box with a Coffee Monsters Co sticker to mark that I want to binge watch YouTube. As you'll tell through the video I'm only placing the stickers and I will do all my writing off camera here. I'm just cutting one of these Shopping Girl stickers down a little bit like I did last week for marking that I need to meet my mum. Uh, but first I place down a heart checklist which I cut into four hearts which has my little shopping list on it. I already filled these in when I was pulling all my stickers together just to save a bit of time so I place that down first along with the 
shopping girl and a pumpkin coffee emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I'll be meeting my mum. Moving on, I then use a half box with a... Oh no, I do. I put this um, Zum Zum sticker down first. I can't remember where these are from, but I will link it below to mark that my youngest has film club. And then a half box from the kit with an emoji holding a pen to mark that my eldest has a homework club. Moving on to Wednesday, I have a half box from Your World of Colour along with a deco cauldron to mark that I want to prep tea. I then have a bit of confusion here and take boxes up and put them back down again but that box does stay at the top followed by a half box from the kit with a peaceful mind design character to mark that I need to edit my Etsy haul. I got a bit confused because I like having my stickers on one side and then the other as they go down but it didn't turn out that way. I then use another gold foiled bow from Planning by Miss Eve to mark that I want to do some blog work and then a face mask sticker from Stationery Heaven Co and a nail polish from Your World of Colour. Moving on to Thursday, I use the Instagram sticker from the kit to mark that I want to share what kit I will be using next week. Followed by a gold foil planning time sticker from Planning by Miss Eve to mark that I need to film and plan for next week. I then use a Coffee Monsters Co. Music emoji to mark that my eldest has Nucleo. A quarter box from the kit with a cat mug from the new coffee mug sheet from Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that it is open evening at the secondary school my youngest will be going to. And then a bin sticker from the kit just to mark which bins need to go out. Moving on to Friday, I have a To Clean Today box from the Plump Planner with a Le Petite Paula character on it. Um, this is because I'm trying to follow the organised mum cleaning method and my focus Friday is the girls' rooms. Underneath that I use a Le Petite Paula mummy character to mark that I want to wash the throws and then a, another foiled bow sticker to mark that I need to edit my plan with me. Lastly for Friday I have the Laura Jean style YouTube poppet to mark that my Etsy haul will be up at 5pm and a half box with a pizza from Fluffy Marrow Designs, I think, to mark that it is pizza night. Moving on to the weekend, as you can see, I did my weekend banner thing again. I then used one of these appointment labels with another uh, Coffee Monsters Co. music MOT to mark that I need to do my voiceover. And then the last two things, I've put a half box with a emoji eating some pumpkin pie to mark that I want to do some baking. And then this Hocus Pocus sticker, which I think is from Lucinda Charlotte, to mark that I want to have a movie night. Sunday, I use a strip of washi from the kit with this sleep in sticker. I then place down my school checklist which is just mainly the bits 
that I need to do for the girls. So I'm just cutting this down to four hearts and I have already filled it in. And then above that I use another one of the La Petite Paula Mummy characters to mark that I want to get some laundry done. I then use the quarter box which matches the full box at the bottom with a 15 frill character to mark that it is early night. Um, I think that is all my bits placed down for this week. I am going to fill all... Is my spread all finished? Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd love to have you here on my channel. Um, give this video a like and leave me a comment if you wish and I shall see you in my next one.